doubles. These were big hits. It was either double or home run. Blaze Berenger with her 14th hit in 29 at... Yeah, Berenger's been one of the best hitters in this tournament for Arizona as well. That's her sixth hit this weekend. Just a nice, solid slap. Look at the barrel control to be able to pop this hit right back up the middle. Nice and smooth. The 10th game for Arizona this year. They're 6-3, and three, the 8th start, Fayetteville, Arkansas. Hard shot, second base. Kern Benson on the stone. Just late over. Yeah, this is a hard shot that's going to bounce. Kern handles it really well. I like the backhand flip over to second base, and I thought this play was so. And you got a speedy Kennedy at first. Skags a swing. It's a really nice pitch right here from Johnson. A little backdoor curveball. Yeah, Arizona's always. 1 1, diving stop, Kern, the toss to second, too tall for Benson. Pass it to right field, Dimmler just a step back to make the grab. You know, something that was very evident in last night's ball game against Virginia Tech for this Arizona. So he goes reaching up and away. And lofts it to Altmeyer. A 10 pitch out there. Summer and Dyke retires Benson, who have started all of their first eight games. The Hoosiers at three and five. Well, three fly balls to start the inning. That's the first one that drops. And current and coordinators weren't sure that I could handle the Velcro. That was a little bit too advanced for me. That's into center field, and Paige Dimler on a 1 1 count has a leadoff single. Berenger did it in the first, and that's her young career. She's played in eight of their first nine. Gives this one a ride down the line. Bassett running out of room. The long Later in the game, the game's tight, runner on third maybe. That's when you start to really think about and contemplate not going for the catch. That's past Stone at first into right field, and Dimler scores. one nothing Arizona. Taylor Beal is just going to turn on this pitch. She's a little bit out in front, really hooks around it, but just scorches this down the line and bounces off the glove of Sarah Stone. Mistake right there from the first baseman. And Into the gap, and it drops between Kettleman and Andrews. Beal first to third. Altmeyer ends up at a lot of hesitation from the outfield for Indiana off the bat neither Kettleman nor Andrews in center field looked like they had a good read on this and they didn't make that aggressive mood move to get there they both kind of hesitate think that the other one might tools and she's really developed more tools in the box she's got a lot thought that was a strike comes back over the plate gets the bouncer to second Kern gets the sure thing over at first. Sarah Stone swinging first pitch. And all four outs recorded thus far by Summer. You want to keep it in front because there's nobody behind you to help. And that ball, like you can see right here in the corner of the field, it can run. Well, we've seen two incredible catches. One from Jordan Stevens from Alabama and then one right there from Kettleman for Indiana. Andrews, the junior. Carly Scoopin with a single last time up. Skies this to right. It's a deep run for Andrews, and it's a home run for Scoopin. Her team leading fourth of the year. Carly Scoopin takes this pitch. It's elevated. It's on the outside corner of the plate, but she just throws her barrel at it. Look at the whip that she gets on that swing right there. Really good barrel movement. She hits this high and deep, and it continues to sail out of the park for another run. Oppo field home run. I like the adjustment from Arizona yesterday. Again, I'm going to say it. Here in Clearwater. This is the time of year where it's so important. You just Washington pick third, and they got one. I'm actually... No. I don't think you can vote for yourself, so that's where the one comes in. But I think if UCLA 
55th pitch here for Johnson with one out in the third. And DiNardo is safe at first. Kern can't get it. It's a single in the right. Three Lettick in the 2023 version of her stance. Why does the angle of the bat, as it's held by the batter, matter as they're getting ready to receive a pitch? Well, for me, I think it, it changes. And with a tight strike zone, she doesn't get the call on the outer half of the plate. A four pitch walk to Pacho. The bases are. up the middle and into center field a base hit for nothing Arizona Taylor Beal was patient on the pitches that were outside the zone and then gets this one this one's just too easy hard of the plate right down the middle you can see Beal just pops this one right back where it came from grounder pass Kerr right field another Arizona hit everybody up a base Three runs batted in. And Kyle Altmaier takes the drop ball. She's a little bit out in front, a little bit early, but finds enough of that ball to squeak it through right by Taylor Kern at second base and picks up another run for the Wildcats. 500 <laughs> batting averages on the weekend. One one, a bouncer, and it's booted by Kern. This will hit here in the third. Yeah, E4 right here. This is a bouncing slap. Curtin does a good job of charging this, but just not able to get it on the right hop. Eats her up, just jumps up on her. A fielder's choice, lined out to left. Base is full, and they'll stay that way. Now 7-0 Arizona after she's hit by the... Swinging, 3-0. Skaggs gets the green light and gets look really easy and this is what I'm talking about back elbow comes up You get that bat whip and then she just flies her hands through the zone as she's able to get a nice Line drive up the middle with the bases loaded prevents herself from being the second out of the to the cause To keep the Arizona inning rocking and rolling scooping Momentum, they feel that. They take advantage. Scoopin, ground ball right side. Second out recorded as Scoopin picks up her second RBI. More calls, and we haven't seen the consistency from Indiana that's going to allow the umpire to give her a little bit of grace. Back to back ground outs over to the right side. Pitch coming out of the pitcher's hand. Sometimes that meant EP and Beal goes over to third base. Fielder's choice ends the inning. Three in the books. Arizona up 9 nothing. Now the sport is supposed to like, I'm like, didn't you just work a game the other day and she's traveling across the country to go play flag football at the highest level, which is pretty cool. Rounder through the middle, base hit, Izzy Pacho. Two aboard. One, two to Beal, two on, nobody out. And it's just foul a third. 17 yesterday against Arizona. She is right back to it in three and a third. Lemley has already struck out seven. Wildcats in three batters have loaded the back-to-back -back junior college national championships and returns to the fold for Arizona. Copeland, the dive over at third, her throw across the diamond, not in time to get the out. Still able to get the out at third base, too. That's something to note. She touches her foot on that bag with the bases loaded. All of them, and Copeland still giving max effort at third despite the score not being in their favor. Carroll pops up that one, two, onto the... In the 
center. Trent down by Andrews. Quickly gets it back in. They hold the runners. Dakota Kennedy, sixth batter of the inning. On the ground right to Benson. The short out to Curran at second. And the inning is over. Stone pop up. Off to the left side of the infield. One away. Aliyah Andrews, Carroll, throws to third. To talk ball, stay in tune with the sport, help it grow. Those amazing young athletes to be on TV means more opportunities as well on the backside. It was awesome. <laughs> Skaggs out to right again, Bassett. Well, whether it's right field or left field, you can expect a hundred. And doing a really nice job of tracking down this ball. We've seen Win be a factor here in Clearwater. She does a good job of sticking with this and laying out at that very last second to get the reach with the glove to make a few. Base hit for DiNardo with two away. It seems one and one here with two gone, top five. On the back. Good back up there from Benson. Not letting that ball. Benson's got it, side on throw, in time to get Cole. The inning is over, 10-0, the score. Straight. I like the pennies. Jobber to short, Carroll. No turn, fielder's choice. That's a base hit into the gap. May bring Indiana's first run home. Green light at third. And the Hoosiers are on the board here in the last of the fifth. Second out of the inning is one out. You're valuable to us at second base, too. Yeah, she just laces a pitch that's elevated right into the gap to pick up a nice run for Indiana and a really good job. But her coach is sitting there telling her, you can't run yourself out of an inning. Ball game over as Skaggs goes to scooping. And after a strong finish to last night's game against Virginia Tech, Arizona carries that over here today to pick up back-to-back -back victories and a 10-1 final score as their victorious.